the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There is singing up in heaven such as we have never known. Breathing angels in the presence of the Lamb upon the throne. Their sweet hearts are ever tuneful and our good night message on this Wednesday, the 4th of October 2023, broadcasting from the Salesian community of the Sacred Heart in Lusaka, Zambia, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this garden angel story entitled Life Information from an Angel. But when I sing redemption story, they will fall their way. We continue listening to the stories about our guardian angels to help us deepen our faith in a God who is ever with us, who makes sure that there is an angel to assist us. Some people believe that before we are born, when our consciousness or spirit resides in that unknown place, we are given information about the life we are about to be born into. Some say we even choose our life. Not many people can claim that they remember this pre-birth existence. Gary says he does. In fact, even in his middle-aged years, Gary says he can recall some details of a conversation he had with an angel before he was born. I was boardless, but aware that I was in an area that was darkened. And I was alone except for the entity that was speaking to me. He says, I was at the bottom of a stairway type structure and was looking up the stairs, but not seeing the one speaking to me. I was very warm and comfortable, but aware and feeling trepidation of what I was about to embark on. This entity was speaking to me and giving me a brief description of how my life would be. I asked for more information, but it was refused. I was basically told that my life would not be a hard life, but would lack any luxuries and that I would experience great difficulties at a relatively early age. It seems there were a few other small details but I no longer can remember it quite as clearly as I once did when I was younger. It appears the information was correct as I am now disabled and in poor health. That's the story we hear about Gary remembering what happened in the womb to just tell us that before we come into this world, the angel of God has already spoken to us in the womb and we are able to know exactly what we are supposed to do Though we cannot remember anything, that's why you see babies smiling to themselves. They're speaking to that guardian angel who is with them. And that's why in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, God says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. And I ordained you as a prophet to the nations. This is one of those verses that a lot of people hate because it clearly brings to our attention the sovereignty and control of God. But it also brings to our attention the fact that God, through his guardian angel, guides us and puts in place what is going to happen in our lives. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. The angels stand and listen, for they cannot join the soul. Let the sound of many waters by that happy blood was strong. For they sing about great triumph.
God's battles fought and victories won. And they praised the great Redeemer who had said to them, Well done, holy, holy is what the angels sing. And I expect to help them make the courts of heaven ring. But when I sing redemption story, Yeah.